Hi, Tate here and welcome back to another video. Today I am drawing Yuri since I said I was going to do some more Doki Doki Literature Club chibis. So this is who you are getting today. Yuri was probably my second favourite out of all the characters so that's why she is next. Um, I did start a digital painting this week which I was going to have as today's video but I ended up running out of time, no surprise there because I can never finish a digital painting on time for a video because my shoulder played up and yeah just that sort of stuff so hopefully that'll come out next week also my acrylic charms are in the mail so I'll hopefully be able to make that video soon which I am excited about so those are probably what you'll get for videos next week and then I'll probably move on to the rest of the Doki Doki Literature Club I can't speak chibis because I still got Sayori and Monica left I've started the sketch for Sayori, I did that in yesterday's stream. I was just like, chat, who am I going to draw next? Because I couldn't choose. I probably would have ended up choosing Monica. But they decided Sayori, because Harpy chose Sayori and that she needed Sayori. Even though she likes Yuri. And, yeah. So, um, I've got the sketch of that started. Um, Yuri was easy but difficult to draw at the same time. Her hair didn't want to behave and I made her legs really thick which I guess I normally do with my teeth but they were really thick um, and I tried doing the pose that like the hand sort of position that she has in the reference picture there I tend to do that myself sometimes or similar at least and Natsuki Chibi is in the bottom left just so I can try and make the style similar but I'm really bad at replicating styles <laughs> my style anyway can replicate other people's styles, but not my own, because I'm like, yeah, I did it like this. Look at the picture. Nothing alike. Yep, that's what I do. The legs don't look as thick right now. I thought I did them extremely thick, but they don't look anywhere near as thick right now. And then I decided boots, because yet again, we don't get to see our feet. Speaking of like drawing the other Doki Doki Literature Club characters as well, um, with doing Monica, I'm just like, no, she doesn't have an out of uniform sort of casual clothes thing, so I'm gonna have to draw a uniform. I didn't want to draw the uniform because I'm lazy, so I'll have to draw the uniform for at least one of them. So, yeah, yeah. Anyway, what has happened since Monday? I had completely forgotten what day it was. So, I have started volunteering at an animal welfare shelter as a cleaner in the cattery. And it's actually not that bad, like being a cleaner there. You just do it, and then if you finish early, you get to play and brush the kitties, and it's it's so it's so cute just seeing all the cats and just cleaning while the cats. My first day, I was in the outdoor area cleaning for a bit, and um, this cat named Platinum, he was just like hanging around with me sort of up on a shelf thing put his paw just like above my chest and then jumped on my shoulder and I had a cat on my shoulder it was cute and then yesterday um, I got to play with kitties again and one of them just came and just like plonked himself in my lap um, he was adorable it's such a like cuddler cat sort of thing and then another one hoodie um, who I want to adopt, but I can't because I live with my grandparents and they don't want more pets. He's like this big black cat. He's not like, he's fluffy, but he's not that fluffy. And he's playful and cute and adorable and cuddly and I want him. So, and he's four years old and that's Hoodie and I like Hoodie a lot. Um, but yeah, that's happened. What else has happened? I had a job interview on Monday. And I got called back for a second interview, so hopefully that will go well. That's on Monday as well. Um, probably won't hear about it in the next video because I'll probably do my next video before Monday just because my dance classes have changed. Actually, if I can even go, I don't have enough petrol money. So it's a matter of whether people lend me petrol money or not in my family. Um... But yeah, I hope I can go to dancing. I've got dancing tonight at 5 o'clock. So it's not a <clears throat> losing my voice. No, not during my voiceover. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? I have dance classes tonight at 5. But it means I don't have to rush to get there anymore. 
because um, my sisters don't get home from school till 3.30 and they my classes used to start at 3.45 so I'd have to try and time it so that I got to my sister's house at 3.30 and then rushed to dancing. Like, I don't want to go straight to dancing because usually my sister wants to come with me. She made me late last week. But yeah, they had to go and change my classes to two days so now I have to drive up there two days a week which is going to cost me so much more money than and oh time and my shoulder driving that far twice a week my shoulder is going to be so dead I need money so I can get my massages again so that it's all good again like I'm still really good compared to what it was at the start of the year in Christmas time that was really bad I couldn't drive um to my dad's house without literally just laying in pain all the time so it is a lot better um, what else? There's got to be more that has happened this week. I feel like I've been so busy, but at the same time, I can't really recall anything. Um, well, it's March now. Let's talk about my tracker instead. I'll open this up. Elastic. Um, but yeah, it's March now, so I've got and had to make a new page in my tracker thing. If you watched my vlogs that I did for January, you know what I'd be talking about. So my February, I mean, why does it February? My March goals, where's the page? Uh, draw a minimum of 25 days out of 31. Stretch every second day. Read before bed at least three times a week. Achieve an extended butterfly at pole. And do an After Effects animation every week. So I couldn't really think of too much more that I wanted to really achieve. Like I wanted to focus on these things and not have too much to do. Last month I had very similar ones, but I failed most of them. I only succeeded in two of them, pretty much. So I'm going to make an effort to actually succeed in all of these. I realized I needed to be slightly more specific with goals as well, like about when I do them and stuff, um, which I haven't read out all that information to make me actually do them. Like the drawing a minimum of 25 days out of 31. That's sort of specific. I can have six rest days from drawing. Stretch every second day, specific. Read before bed at least three times a week. Not specific enough, but I will, I've got it in my tracker for one, so I actually am marking down every time I read, so I should be able to achieve that. Achieve an extended butterfly. This is one where I've just got to work on strength and practice it at pole a lot. Um, it's just arm strength I don't have. I achieved my shoulder mount last month, which was my goal, and I was actually very surprised that I did that. So I am going to achieve an extend butterfly this month. And then do an After Effects animation every week. This is slightly more specific. Last month I had it as just learn After Effects. And I did not do it because I did not have any sort of thing that I had to do. I just had to learn it. So this time I have to do an After Effects animation every week. So I should end up with four animations by the end of the week. They're not, they don't have to be difficult. Just simple ones following a tutorial. Just so that I'm actually doing the work. And then hopefully I'll be able to make my new start and end slate for my YouTube channel. And just make my videos slightly more interesting hopefully with After Effects. Because that is a goal that I want to achieve. I said I wanted to do it like the start of the year and it's March now. But I've, these goals are and like I've got a daily to-do list as well in this journal and it's just helping so much with getting stuff done. I'm becoming a lot more productive and it sort of forces me, if I see an empty space, I'm like, oh god, I need to do this now so that I can fill up the space in my tracker. So it is pushing me to do more stuff and getting more productive and being less lazy. And I'm still doing heaps of stuff, like I'm volunteering, I've got boot camp, I've got pole, I've got dance classes, and I'm possibly going to have a job soon, and YouTube, and streaming. So much stuff. Anyway, this video is nearing an end, so thank you for watching, and be sure to come back every Monday and Friday for more videos. See ya!